trusting and compassionate with the person and the people that are closest to you, you can overcome all of those things. I think right now, maybe that's a little bit, maybe even more important than it, it has been. So. Hi, Harry. Hi, Jenna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Uh, yes, a very touching movie that I, I cry a oh. lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, sorry. It's a beautiful movie. And we need to talk about these, these type of stories as well. So yeah. I would like to know what was the inspiration for the, this beautiful story and for the script? Well, the story uh, is inspired by a quite long period of um, volunteering uh, uh, that I did for dementia charities and still do. So over the course of two or three years I, before I wrote the script, I spent a lot of time with people who are living with um, young onset dementia uh, of all, all, all different types, um, you know, families, couples, people on their own, people in care. And I came to know a lot, learn a lot about it. Um, and so the story really is inspired by, um, you know, all of that time spent um, with people uh, who, who are coming to terms with this kind of life. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult part of the life anyway. So when you like writing like the script, when you have think thought about the story, mm -hmm. have you thought about uh, calling and studying writing or that came afterwards? I hadn't thought about any actors at all, really. I try not to write with actors in mind because um, I, I just sort of feel like it helps me to not think of anyone specifically for various reasons. So no, I hadn't at all. And then when the script was, we felt the script was ready to be show, shown to actors, obviously then myself and the uh, casting director Shaheen talked about you know lots of different people, but Stanley was the first person we got the script to. Um, so the casting process couldn't really have been any easier, uh, which doesn't always happen, I know. So Stanley got the script and just loved it, which was great and really liked the characters obviously. And we met and um, got on really well. And I didn't know this, but he uh, had already given the script to Colin. Um, I didn't even know they were friends. And I really wanted, hopefully, to work with two actors on this film who, who knew each other because of how intimate and challenging it was going to be. And lo and behold, Colin and Stanley don't just know each other. They absolutely love each other and you're their best mates. So it was... Um, yeah, it was it was quite amazing, really. Yeah, you can see that the chemistry is really like right there. It's yeah. really like it's it's perfect. So uh, I want to know, like, uh, now I'm gonna salute you on the cinematography, which is mm. great. How was like the approach? I know England is beautiful. I cannot say can be mm. wrong with that. But what was the your approach with the cinematography? Well, I think it was partly to. Um, you know, to sort of focus on the beauty of the natural world, but also to focus on the kind of brutality of it too. I mean, I think the place that we filmed, which is called the Lake District, it's in the northwest of England, just below Scotland, is an incredibly beautiful, beautiful place. It's vast, but it's also really intimate. And it's it's like, it's beautiful, but it's challenging. It's sort of slightly unforgiving, you know, mountainous territory. So we wanted to focus on that. And then we wanted to focus very heavily on the contradiction between um, that and the intimacy of the van that the RV that they're traveling in. So that the, the micro and the macro were really, really important to how we, we shot the film. And then we, we, Dick, the cinematographer and I talked a lot about, you know, portraiture and how we would, you know, as honestly as possible capture these these men's faces you know and it's sort of we didn't want to glamorize it really it's romantic but it's but it's but it's real it had to feel grounded and and raw you know so we, we focused on all of those things uh, mainly yeah the music is also beautiful but uh, I need to wrap it up so I just want to know what do you think people are gonna take away from this beautiful story well I I, I hope they um, take away from it that however challenging you know life becomes and the things that life throw at you throws at you if you're trusting and compassionate with the person and the people that are closest to you you can overcome all of those things I think right now maybe that's a little bit maybe even more important than it, it has been so yeah yeah no yeah that's right and just 
thank you so much for your time. It's a beautiful movie. Don't take that long to do another movie. I know this is your <laughs> second one, but don't take too many years, okay? You have I'll, a beautiful... I'll try my, a beautiful, I'll try yeah. my best. Yeah, yes, I know. <laughs> I know. Thank you, you so got, much. You've got any money, Dana. You know, I know. We, we can speed things along very quickly. <laughs> I know that. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.